who has better insight on what's going on, social media or me. I don't owe anyone an explanation, but Ashley. How are we handling the outside judgment about Tyler's past? We are blocking people. I have added blocking to my resume. Uh, we're making sure we utilize all the tools, all tools on social media to make sure we don't allow that into our kind of bubble. It, it has affected us at some point, but we just want to make sure that any outside noise um, doesn't affect us long term. The outside judgment following a twist in their romance, with Tyler revealing he fathered multiple children after their engagement in the Love is Blind pods. I had a very close friend, her and her wife wanted to have a baby, and I, they couldn't afford sperm donor. I thought that was God telling me, you know, help someone else. And it felt good. I don't hate you, you know? I am just disappointed in you. Yeah. And I am trying to navigate a million emotions at once it is annoying so we just been making sure we can block people use the tools on you know Instagram to make sure we can filter through things and turning off comments if we have to and remembering why we fell in love we're handling it through each other we're leaning on each other we're talking to each other um, and we're trying to understand that these people wouldn't visit us in a hospital if we were sick and we are here for each other and it's pretty much how we're handling it Despite the revelation coming just days before their wedding, the couple ultimately tied the knot. With this ring, I marry you. I marry you. You may kiss your bride. The best part of married life, I would say, is having your best friend. You have someone to wake up to every day. You have someone to cook with, go on dates with, and just enjoy. I'd say the same thing. The best part of married life is just having a partner, and I never really knew what that meant in any past relationship to actually have someone going through life with, and I definitely would say that's the best part of this year. The most challenging part of marriage, I would say, is compromising. You know, I, I learned to compromise. At first, I didn't know how to compromise in relationships, but, you know, um, learning that your wife is always right. It's like we're married or something, because we have similar answers. I would say the hardest part uh, has been just like picking and choosing your battles and knowing kind of when to take a back seat in situations and kind of winning, knowing when to fight for uh, things that really mean a lot to you and just kind of making sure that arguments don't last long. We're trying to have kids now. We're not trying. We're not actively not trying. I'm actively not trying. I might lose my mind if I get married and I'm pregnant. So no sex till next year? No. I'm not shaking to that. I'd like to take a little more time before we have kids, maybe at least two years. I think right now we're just focused on kind of being newlyweds and taking time to go on trips and explore each other more. I know he was saying a year, but I definitely think we need a little more time. Yeah, I think there's a lot of traveling that we want to do and life to experience with each other before we jump into kids. But we do have them in mind. That's definitely will be the plan in the future. Is there anything that you want to say? I don't owe anyone an explanation, but Ashley. Love is Blind season seven and its reunion are now streaming on Netflix. Love hmm. is blind. <laughs> nah, love, love is, is definitely love blind. Love is blind. Yeah, because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. I love this woman unconditionally. She is my best friend, and I would not have found her any other way but through this process.